everybody, it's Leah, and here we are with um, the first video on how to make this accordion page envelope mini album. Um, you're going to need, uh, as I said in the directions, three envelopes, six cards that fit the envelopes, and three pieces of cardstock. These can be any color you want um, to coordinate with your papers. Okay. Um, pardon the coffee, my husband's sick. <laughs> so you're gonna hear him a little bit. All right, so to make the page, this is what it's going to look like. You're gonna have an envelope, and you're gonna take your two cards. They're gonna get put together with a gusset so they can expand like this to create a beautiful layout uh, or page where you can do a layout across like this. Oh, such a mess. <laughs> and then on the other side of your envelope, you'll have this pocket and you will have a flap that opens up like this, okay? And then from there, you can add on whatever extra pockets you'd like. We can talk about that during the decorating part of making the pages, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take all three of your envelopes, open them up, and then fold them backwards and uh, crease them with your bone folder, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna say okay like a thousand times. I'm really working on that, guys, I really am. <laughs> Again, we're gonna do that for each envelope. Then you wanna take all of your cards and fold them in half and make sure they're nice and neat and really the edges are perfectly aligned. You don't want to have like wonky um, cards because when you make the gussets, you want them to line up, okay? So just take your time, fold them really nicely. Um, I hope you guys were able to find really great papers in your stash. Remember, this is, we're trying to do a stash uh, album here, trying not to buy new things, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, it was it was a rude awakening the other day. I was just like, wow, I really have spent a lot of money to not make very many things. Um, you know, and I talked with my husband about it, and I was like, babe, I'm spending so much money. And the thing is, is that I have a budget. I do, I have a very nice budget. I spend about what I would probably spend on a kick club every month, but... Um, for my own personal use, that's a, that's a lot of money that I could, you know, when I have all this stuff and I'm not using it. And then I just found myself going beyond my spending limit. And that's when I was like, okay, it's time to, to stop for a bit. All right. So the next thing you want to do, once you've folded your envelopes and you've creased your cards, we are going to cut out our flaps and the flap page is going to be, um, five inches wide by seven and a half tall. So you're going to want to cut your page down to seven and a half. And that's gonna be the height of your page, plus a half an inch to fold down for the, um, for the gusset on the flat. And then five inches wide to meet the width of the envelope. And you're gonna need one of these for each of your flaps, for each envelope. So I'm making three pages, so I'm gonna need three of these. So it's gonna take me two papers, papers, two, <laughs> two eight and a half by 11 pages to do that. Again, one more time, seven and a half. And I'll make one at five. Okay. Next, you need a scoring tool of some kind. I'm gonna use my board here to score. Half an inch on the long side, on the seven and a half side. Seven, okay, there we go. I don't know what that was, scored at seven inches, guys. I don't know what that was about, okay. going to notch this. And the reason I want to notch it is so that when I glue my other papers on top, I don't have a chance of seeing this, give it a second, this edge hanging out of the end. So what I want to do is just go at a 45 degree angle and just cut that corner right in. And I'm going to do that on all of the sides, just so that again, nothing's hanging out and our album could look nice and neat, okay? I'm going to do that on all three of my flaps. Okay, um, take the crease side and you fold so that the crease side is up. And then use your bone folder. Now at this time, if you want it around your edges, you, I would suggest to do it now at the bottom of your page. 
Um, I may or may not do that. I haven't decided. Um, or you could also um, use a decorative edge punch if you didn't want to just round it. Um, but again, this would be a good time to make your punch. You don't want to do it when you, all your pages are all glued together. It can be a little bit just cumbersome. It's just easier. Okay, so let's um, start by um, gluing this to our envelope. So you want the pocket is going to be at the back side. I know usually when you do these things, the pocket's this way because most people are right-handed and they reach into the pocket this way. But I like the idea of the accordion being on the front side and then the back side having the pocket and the flap. Again, it's up to you. If you want to go like this and do it this way, <laughs> you totally can. And, um, and then you could just have your accordion on the back. It's up to you. I'm going to do mine this way. Um, regardless of how you do that, you're going to glue just like that. So flat, this little flat, Gus it down, and you're gonna go just to the edge of the envelope, okay? Um, I like to use wet glue, so I'm gonna get that on there really nicely. I'm gonna get it to the edge first. Not all the way to the edge. I don't like everything to go right exactly to the edge. It makes uh, folding and stuff easier, okay? And you can see I just kind of floated it centered this way, I'll also be able to see the decorative paper around the outside there. Open it up. Don't put your glue anywhere when it's going to drip. <laughs> okay, and just burnish that really good. You don't want anything to be coming up. Okay, and you can do that again for the other two envelopes. I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah the other two envelopes. <laughs> And again, I'll show you. You can see at the edge there, I'm not quite all the way to the edge. Burnish. Last one. And you see, this is going to come together really quickly once you get going. And then when you decorate, you know, um, you'll have ah, glue everywhere. You'll have um, much more time to decorate as opposed to spending all of your time building your book. I like things to go very quickly. I don't like too much complication when I'm making these books um, because my ultimate goal is to get them decorated so that they're ready for use right away. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to make the um, hinges or the gusset that's going to hinge our books together, okay? So we need them to be, and let's double check our measurements. Again, I believe these are five, they are, they are five wide by six and a half tall. So um, we are going to wanna make a one inch by six and a half inch gusset, and we're gonna make three of them. Um, Two, three. Okay, we're gonna take our scorer again. If you have a scoreboard, oh my gosh, get yourself a Martha Stewart scoreboard. I wish I had, now I don't have one. <laughs> and this is a pain, I'll tell you. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make three of these and then I will show you what we're gonna do when we're done with them. Okay, so once you have your hinges, um, you are going to notch these again, just like you did the other ones. So, here is the fold. Come on, focus. There we go. Here's the fold. Here's the end. You're going to want to cut from the, 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 the hinged end, edge, I'm sorry, the scored edge, towards the open edge in at a 45 degree angle. And what you're doing is just cleaning that up. So this part, and again, you're going to do the same thing. The, the other way so that when this is on your page 
you don't have any of this extra square stuff at the top. It just looks nice and neat and clean. Okay, so once you have all three of your pieces, <laughs> you are going to um, grab two um, cards per page. I mean, you could do more, but I think two is more than enough because when you start layering them and you start adding pictures and paper, you're not gonna wanna have your book be too bulky, okay? So you're gonna start by um, grabbing your first envelope. I'm sorry, card. Glue on the inside here of your hinge. Your first one, you take, if both cards are gonna be like this, okay? Take the first one and you're gonna wanna glue it almost all the way into the corner. Not all the way, almost all the way. Because if you go in too far, you're not gonna have room um, for the hinge to work properly. And I will show you what that looks like. Up close, you can see I'm not quite, you can see right there, I'm not quite to the inside, okay? Then you wanna do the same thing for the other card. So, you know, both cards open are opening this way. You're gonna go like that, okay? So that's one more time. This part goes like this. This is the opening of the card. Turn it upside down. And again, you wanna get almost, you wanna leave like a 16th of an inch from the hinge uh, scoring and really make sure your cards are lined up super well. You want them to look really beautiful when they're all together on the page. You see how well that's nice. That's pretty nicely lined up. Okay, so now my page opens like this. Whoop. And when you flip to the other side, you won't have any weird like seams there. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that again and I'll show you one more time how I did it. Card opens up like this. Glue. Running out of glue. <laughs> Just like this. Almost all the way to the inside. Almost all the way. Not quite. And I suggest burnishing. Just to really make sure it's on there nice and tight on the back side. Take your, other, take your other card, opens the same way, turn it upside down. Onto the hinge. Again, really making sure that you line your cards up as well as you can and as straight as you can. Use your board if you um, have a grid, a gridded mat, that's fantastic. I really suggest having a gridded mat general it's fantastic for working on your projects because your, your stuff will line up better um, when you have a guide although some people are really amazing at eyeballing i am not one of those people <laughs> all right i gotta find some more glue all right i'm gonna be back i gotta find my other glue bottle <laughs> and i'll show you what the next part is in just a moment all right so so while I was looking for my glue, I decided to just go back and punch my corners. So um, on these envelopes, uh, on the flaps, I just punched them really quickly here. And then on these cards, you only wanna punch the one that's gonna be out at the end. So I'm just, I have it like this where the two cards are going this way. This is the top. I just wanna punch just these front ends. If you're gonna punch, I like rounded corners, um, but you, again, can use any kind of decorative corner you want. I think depending on what, you know, if it's a holiday, you want to do something a lot of filigree or Valentine's, whatever it is that you want to do, you know, just think about how that looks with your paper and the style of album you're doing. But for me, rounded corners are fine. And uh, any kind of little pocket inserts that I have, if they're square or I cut them out of the paper, I'll probably punch the corners on those as well. They slide in and out of the book much easier and it is easier to grab and not have the edges get ruined as fast if you do punch your corners and round them. Okay, so I am going to now glue my accordion page to the book. So here's your booklet. Your flap is like this at the back. 
this is this way and this is facing in. You're going to glue this part to here. Now, I know that you can see right now this part here, and we're just gonna cut that away afterwards. I'll show it to you really closely. Here. You can see this is gonna stick out at the top and the bottom, and we're just gonna notch that away once we have um, glued it down. It's just easier to glue everything down first and then go back and do that. So um, you're gonna wanna glue the edge of your, oh, here's your, here's your booklet. Again, make sure it's going the right way. I have my rounded corner here. Open this up like this. Glue along the edge here. And then the bottom of the triangle like this, just to make sure that's on there nicely. Glue as much to the edge. I don't want to get too far because I am going to be cutting that away. All right. Take and line your book up neatly. And I suggest getting this right in the middle. Don't go all the way to the edge. Leave yourself a little bit of space. I'm putting mine centered pretty much. I mean, I can pretty much line this up between these here on the board. Um, but you can bring it all the way down to the bottom too if you prefer that to not be floating in the center. You can bring it all the way down to the bottom. I like mine kind of centered. And again, I want to make sure that this whole booklet is not, is not hanging off the edge of my envelope. So I'm just going to wiggle it. This is why I prefer wet glue. You get a little bit more time with it. Okay. There we go. All right. And then when I do my next booklet, I'm going to put my envelope like so, just so I can make certain I line up everything neatly. Okay. Make sure everything's at the same height. And again, if you bring it all the way down to the bottom, you really don't have to worry about this so much, but I did not want to do that. That was my personal choice. Remember guys, just because I'm making a video and I'm teaching a tutorial, you are free to make the choices that make you the happiest when putting your books together. This is a uh, scrap democracy, <laughs> not a scrap dictatorship. Okay, and we'll get the last one. Let's make sure that's lined up real nicely. Last one. I mean, it's not necessary to do it the way that I'm doing it, as long as you like measure on the paper where you want it, but um, you know, I just wanted to do this this way for my own mental benefits. <laughs> Again, making sure that my rounded edge is at the top. Again, we are not going all the way to the edge so that our books, when you do this, because you do have this piece here, you don't want it to hang over the edge. And I'll just show you there. It's nice and neat, lines up really nicely. Burnish this so it's on there really nicely. Close up my glue so it's not going everywhere. I end up with glue everywhere sometimes while I'm doing a project because I'm not careful about the cap. Um, so I'm working on that. Okay, just open up your booklet. A little snip on each of these little bits here. And if you're concerned about the strength of that uh, envelope, don't worry, you're gonna be gluing decorative paper on and that's gonna make everything much stronger. So you don't have to worry too much about how strong it's gonna be at the corners. Yes, okay. All right, you don't have to do this. I just suggest, I think it just looks neater um, and cleaner for you to just take these pieces off. 
sometimes I leave things in my envelopes, albums, or leave stuff in my albums because I just, I'm not really so, I mean, I am meticulous when I make stuff for other people. When I make stuff for myself, I'm like, ah, whatever. Um, and you'll just want to go back and double check and make sure that your corners are glued down really nicely. I'll do that when I'm all done cutting these out. Yesterday was my wedding anniversary, so that was very exciting. That's going in this book because that is one of the first things that happens in the fall for us. <laughs> Our wedding day was absolutely the most gorgeous day, and it was the last gorgeous day of the year. Um, and it's funny because today, nine years later, the day after, it's like probably going to be the last gorgeous day. You see how that looks now um, of the year. It is absolutely beautiful, um, but there's a hurricane coming. So... <laughs> It's beautiful for now. <laughs> we'll see soon how the weather holds up. Luckily, we're not in Florida, but our friends and family are uh, right on the Space Coast, so we are concerned. But everyone has told us they've uh, done what they needed to do to get to safety. So all we can do is choose to believe that they really did that and hope for the best. <laughs> So now that we've made all of our pages, we are going to make our hinges that are going to bind the pages to each other. Okay, so you are gonna need more of this paper and it is again going to need to be seven inches tall. So you will need, depending on how big the, um, the spine of your book is, mine is one inch approximately. We can double check the measurement. Measure twice, cut once, guys. Measure twice, cut once. And yes, my book is just a little over one inch. So I'm going to need, with three pages, to make quarter inch gussets between my pages. And I'm going to need two. Wait. One, two. I'm gonna need four hinges. So, let me get my scoreboard. All right, so the first is gonna be, score is gonna be at one inch. This is the piece that's going to glue to my book. Then I'm gonna move it over one quarter of an inch. That's the gusset between my front cover and my first page. Then I'm gonna do a half an inch from there. Quarter, a half. This is where I'm gonna make a cut. I'm just gonna make a little mark. That's all. Cut. Okay. Then I'm gonna go over. One half an inch. One half an inch. Score quarter of an inch, score again, and then from that score mark, <laughs> which I've lost, there we go, I'm going to go in a half an inch and make a mark. You should at this point be at three inches. That's your next cut. Then you're going to go in half an inch, one quarter of an inch, and then you're gonna go another half an inch, make a mark. That's your next cut. Then you're gonna go half an inch, make a score quarter of an inch, score again. Front cover page, okay. And then go one inch and make a mark. You should be at six inches. Okay, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Oh, guys, okay. So you can see that's your one inch that's gonna go against the page. Quarter of an inch, that's between your front cover and your front page, and this half an inch attaches to your book. Then you have a half inch that attaches to your book, 
quarter inch between the first page and the second page, half an inch that goes you to the, sec the second page to the third page. Nope. First page to second. <laughs> Let me just cut this apart. You've got pa front cover, page, page, back cover. <laughs> that makes it, I think that makes more sense. I don't know. I'm, I'm so out of it. <laughs> I apologize. Hopefully it'll make more sense while I start covering, cutting it apart. Okay. I'm gonna mark it as they come off. That's one. Just so I know which one is which. <laughs> That's two. That's three. And that's four. So here you can see you have the longer on four and one. You've got, whoa, you've got the longer bit on the edges that go onto the cover, okay? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna crease these. Okay, so with the first one, your wide bit is here. Crease. And then in, so you create like a U. Okay, we don't want a zigzag, we want a U. Like a little celery boat. <laughs> you would fill it with like peanut butter right in there, okay? Number two and three are the same size. So, you again, you wanna make a little U. And just make sure when you crease these that um, the edges line up nice and straight. And again, we're going to notch these just so that we don't have anything. You don't want anything here lining up with your paper. You want to get that out of the way so you don't see it later. The reason you want to give yourself a little bit more um, to glue to the page versus maybe how big you're making the gap uh, in the gusset between the pages has to do with um, how much you want to actually glue to the page so you have good strong hands. You don't want to really have too little glue to the page. Um, and this gusset, again, depends on how uh, much is going between the pages. And then also how much um, is, uh, how wide your spine is. Now I know that my spine is an inch, so I didn't want to give myself more than three quarters of an inch so that it didn't get too, uh, too bulky. Okay, fold this in. You don't want to have too much in your in your gus and, and your spine, and then you can't close your book properly because there's so much in there. It won't line up. Okay, and that's the end one, and that goes to the page. Like these go to the book on the spot on the uh, on the actual covers like that, and then these go in between onto the pages. You can take your scissors again, get cutting into the corners like this. just to keep everything nice and neat and clean. Now that that's done, let's start gluing the pages together. So you're gonna wanna start um, with the first one. Open your page up like this. This is gonna go here against the page like this, okay? See, it's a little shorter than the, uh, than the envelope, but that's fine. Better that it's a little smaller than too big. Get the glue on there. Remember, don't go all oops, don't go all the way to the edge. You want to leave yourself just a little hair of space. Oops. Okay. Finish that. And that's the piece that's going to go to your front cover, and you can see with that gusset. Look at that, I got a nice little bit of space there. Whoop. There it is, no, come on, focus. You can see I've got that space to fit the page in there against the book cover, okay? The next part, lift the flap 
and you're going to go to this to this part here. And you don't want to go all the way to the edge, just very close. See? Again, I'm not exactly at the edge. See that little bit there? It's very important, guys. It makes everything in the book go in nice and neatly, and nothing gets stuck opening and closing. Next page. Open your book, like so, and this is going to get glued to here. This way. It's just a little easier to get on. Make sure your bottoms of your pages are lined up there. There, and you can see the bottom of my pages are lined up really nicely. Come back, burnish this really well. You don't want this going anywhere. And guys, this is why one of the reasons I prefer wet glue. It's just easier to put your books together with wet glue. Open. Hinge number three. <laughs> That's how I had it open. Hinge number three. <laughs> I'm gonna glue down right here. I opened up the book because it's just easier to lay the hinge down this way. Okay. I'm gonna get that on there, right there. Getting there very close, but not all the way in. Sometimes you have to open these pages up and it starts to look a little awkward. Um, if you feel confused about what step you're at um, when you're looking at your pages, go back, close the book up again, look at where you are, reassess, and then come back. Um, but it is easier to open the books up in order to um, glue everything together. Okay, here's the front of your book. Okay, open it up. This part is getting glued to here. So I'm gonna do it like that. And just so you can see it when the book is all closed up, it's just like that, okay? And then here's that. Here's your book again. This is the front of the page. This is the back of the last page, so it looks like this when you're done. Close this so you can see. Okay, just like this. All right. Not trying to confuse anybody. Just easier for me to put the pages together. <laughs> and again, don't put it too close to there on the hinge. And make sure the bottoms of your pages are lined up really nicely. You want your book to look beautiful and even across the board. Burnish, 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 burnish. Really make sure you burnish if you're using wet glue. Actually, even if you're using tape, um, I'm not a fan of tape. If you've watched my videos this long, you know I'm not. <laughs> I don't think that it works very well. And I think that eventually your books will come apart. And one day I'm going to do a video where I'm gonna show you a book that is completely falling apart because I use dot glue to put a book together. No, don't ever do that. Use wet glue to put your books together, guys. Or red line. I mean, if you have to use tape, please use like really strong tape like red line tape. Last hinge, the small side. This is our hinge number four. The small side goes to the book. The large side is going to go like this. So all of these parts get glued into the spine of the book and that's about your inch right there, right in the spine. Make sure you're lifting your flaps while you're while you're gluing these together, you're gonna have problems. You end up gluing your 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 gap your your flap shut. <laughs> Glue your gap shut. That that makes sense. Double check. Make sure after I burnish that I didn't ruin that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And again, so this is the back side of your whole assembly. And see, I try to get it as flat as I possibly could, and that's really the most important part when you're gluing this together, is try to get flat. I do such a great job. 
But um, you also do not have to glue this part of the assembly to your book. You could just glue these parts here to the front cover, these outside flaps, and then glue something here to kind of keep this steady. Um, I probably should have done a better job making sure this was all even. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll show you what this looks like. Um, this was my book assembly, which it is not. It is one I considered, but I felt like this was a little, uh, I didn't like the cover, the way the cover looked. But it's about the same size, so you can see how this works. And also, this is why I tell you not to do your books ahead of time. Look at how floppy that is. It has nothing, it's like, oh. um, if you undo your books right when you're about to use them, they do stay a little stiffer for a while, and it's easier to put your assembly in. So when you glue your assembly in, you would glue it in like this. And then these flaps will get glued down here like this. And now you have all of this space, this beautiful gusseted space for your pull out. Ooh, get this together. So your pages pull out like this. And look at how big of a space you get. I mean, I can't even fit on camera. I'm gonna zoom out. Look at how much space you are gonna have to do beautiful layouts in a mini album. I mean, this is why you do an accordion page in a mini album, guys. <laughs> Wonderful. If you didn't want to make it this big, just use two envelopes. You could also take one piece of paper, a 12 by 12 paper, fold it up, and do the same thing and just glue it in, um, attaching it to here instead of doing this whole assembly with the, with the envelopes. I just find the envelopes and cards work very well together. Okay, so. Um, the next part is going to be decorating our book and I um, am going to decorate my book along with you. I will do one page setup um, in the next video so you can see um, how I uh, am going to set up the majority of the look of my page, but I do um, want to keep everything nice and fresh um, so I have freedom to kind of do my layouts as I go, but I will be decorating parts of it and making um, inserts for the pockets here, and I may also make a pocket that goes here as well, okay? And uh, who knows, maybe one here, one here. I mean, we're gonna like really, tr um, I'm gonna show you some different options. Thank you so much for following the video today and stay tuned for the next installment. Bye.